Hello, in this little video here, I want to talk about something that I didn't talk about in class. This is a graph I just uh, grabbed from the Wall Street Journal, uh, the Dow Jones Industrial Average. And I've already set the axis, the horizontal and vertical axis. And so when I go to mask it, um, if I use the, um, let me erase all the masking. If I use the box tool, and I, you don't have to include the axes, I was wrong when I did that. You just need the data part, but you want to get it all. Um, if I do that, and then I um, and then I run it, um, it gives me both data series, and I you'll see. Let's just look. Um, it's not smart enough to um, split them apart. So when we look at them in Plotly, we are going to have a mess. It's going to be plotting both data series as if it was one time series. Obviously, that's not what we were looking for. So let's go back here, close, uh, erase, erase all. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the pen. And uh, you, can make this, you can make this as white as you want. Um, we just need to... Um, get everything and we're gonna get some of the other line and that's fine, it's easy to go back and, um, and, uh, and remove the points we do not want included. We just wanna make sure we got them all. So um, then, uh, and if we run it, we'll see we got a bunch of data points here, like I said, that we do not want. So I'm gonna click on delete point here and I'm gonna, I mean, while I move my picture, uh, now I can see in the right hand corner, um, some of the, the points that got included that should not have been. And um, it's pretty easy to just go and get rid of the things that don't belong there. There might be some more efficient way you can maybe press shift or something, but I have not explored all of the, features and functionality of this tool, but I am a big fan. All right, still got a few more. It's also possible to use keys instead of your mouse to move things around, but um, I, uh, I'm just using the mouse. I can also add points. Like I could see right here, you know, looking in the, the crosshairs that, yeah, it didn't really get the top of that, you know, let's get the top of that line. And then if you really want to get fancy, you could, you know, look and see, oh, well, you know, it kind of missed that spike and it kind of missed that piece right there. And now let's go here and into the delete mode and we could delete that point there and that point there. And, you know, I could, this way lies madness. You know, you could really, but I mean, I guess if it's really important to get the data exactly right, okay, let me get a point right there. All right, so uh, now that I'm done fiddling with the points, I uh, click view data and let's graph it in Plotly and see what we get. And it's gonna be a mess, I'm gonna tell you, uh, because um, I it, it takes the points in the order, it, it, it looks at the points left to right as it goes across the graph, and then any additional points that I added are getting tacked on at the end. And so as you can see here, I spent too much time fiddling around, uh, deleting, adding, moving points around. Not to worry, though, uh, that is only showing up this way because I'm graphing it as a, a line graph. So it's plotting the points in the timeline, the order they appeared, if that makes any sense. Uh, but if I just switch it to a scatter plot, um, then I'll just have the points that I was looking for. So this is uh, what I want. So I'll go back here and I can download it as a CSV file and mission accomplished. I hope that was helpful.